All right, it's Father's Day 2020, 21, 2020, 2021, whatever. It's Father's Day, that kind of a crappy morning. Well, crappy day all day. Whatever. Well, we're at the canoe launch, pulling into the canoe launch on the North River. One of my um, sites that I worked. I'm going to come here and unload my kayak, and we're going to get in the river and go up to uh, Blueberry Island. On our way, we're going to stop at Couch Beach and go to Blueberry Island. And at Blueberry Island, we will have some hot dogs for dinner. And uh, we'll see what happens. I'm excited to get a video of Blueberry Island. I spent a lot of time there over the years. All right. All right, there's Ellie. And I'm Zip, Zip right here, and the truck loaded up with the kayaks, with one kayak for me. And we're gonna go out on the river out here. And one of my other videos shows me how uh, I clean this place out. There's some kids up here on the bridge, jumping off the bridge into the river. Been kind of a thing for years and years and years. I did it as a kid. It was a lot of fun. And the river's flowing inland, the tide's coming in. We're going to go be going upriver, up that way. We just need to get unloaded and uh, get moving. All right, well, we're on the river. There's Ellie. We're floating along. There's the kids jumping off the bridge down there. We just loaded up. I really wanted to get in the water. It's been a long day. I was going to videotape some of it, but none of I'm not going to. There goes somebody off the bridge. All right. We just got kind of sucked into an eddy. We're not going anywhere. I need a paddle. I'm not sure how rough this was. It's kind of calmed down, but we're out here in the wind. It's blowing the opposite way I want to go. Uh, here we are. Now, when I was a kid, this is a bunch of uh, little fishing shacks with some old piers. And uh, one of those locks back there. I'm pretty sure it was that one or the other one. It's a community. Like four houses have access to it. And I'm not sure anymore, but I could have bought a house up in there in the 80s and been able to have access to the river. Nobody wanted any houses here, but look at this. Look at that place up there. And they're never here. Like in the summertime, I'll come by here and there's nobody here, even on a weekend. Nobody. Lights everywhere, security cameras everywhere. Nobody home. Same with the house next door, nobody home. It's Father's Day on 2021. Nobody out here. I've been here earlier. All right. Let's kind of look into the east, coming around to the south. That's kind of west, back towards like Norwell. Ellie's enjoying the ride. She's a good girl. Maybe she'll get a hot dog on this trip. I didn't bring her any food. All right, it's really windy up there. I need to stop for a second and take a break. That wind is brutal. When I was a kid or younger, there used to be a yacht parked here, parked here. And I think it went, at one point, they left it out here and it just sunk here. But we used to come up to here and get power, kind of go by here a little bit further. You can see a yellow box right there in the center. And we used to come here and plug our batteries in. There are 12 volt batteries so that we could run our car stereos out on Blueberry Island. Got a boat coming pretty, pretty fast. Here it comes. It'll go right by us. Kind of south here on, on the North River again. And straight ahead is uh, the Couch Beach uh, conservation area, we call it, I guess. And right to our left here is another. 
conservation area they call CPA. And, uh, you guys walk down with your chairs and it's a, it's a beautiful spot. The time to do it. Come hang out. There used to be a swim ladder on both sides. I haven't been even down here and put a ladder on it, but whatever. But we choose other projects. But that's a beautiful wood in there. And down here, up river a little bit. There's so many deer in that wood in there, it's just really incredible. Just taking over the whole place behind that and those trees. Wake from a boat. So we're down at Couch Beach now. Um, it's uh, again Father's Day 2021. 20, and uh, I guess someone's got a camp or a car up there or something. Uh, you can actually drive in. I've, I got a video that shows that, that space. Definitely looks like a car up there, but it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go over here. There's too many kids for her to swim right here. I'm gonna go to the other beach. She really wants to go swimming really bad. This is Bluebird Island right here. There's, there's a um, hill camp right there across the marsh. We're looking due south. Um, there's a place where you can put your kayak here um, and go up and over, but I'm gonna get down to. Uh, Camp Beach, I think Hill Hill Beach and Camp Beach. I'm gonna head down there. Hi, Ellie. I haven't been to Bluebird Island since last uh, Labor Day. This is some place that I would come to on a monthly basis after storm. I'd come out here and make sure the trails and everything was still clear. It's amazing. A bunch of those trees are just dead. That whole peninsula. It's all dead. Yeah. Water rise. And salt water. Kind of see over there. That's uh, Camper's Island or Pear Island. You can actually camp on it. Not a very good island to camp on. But when I'm here, people show up that I don't want to camp on, on Blueberry. I'll send them there for the night. More than once, we had a huge party going on there. And we were over here on the island uh, more than once. All right, we're gonna pan back over here. That cedar is totally dead. That's firewood someday, maybe for me. I don't know, but it's dead. I'm gonna cut and get up on the beach here. Get a little close to uh, beach camp. And this used to be a much bigger beach. And the marsh is just kind of taking it over. I mean, at high tide, there's very little beach at all anymore since this uh, big, big chunk of marsh fell off. It's kind of erosion. I, when sea level rise, I bet this place doesn't last five more years. I mean, a hundred years or something. Who knows? It's interesting to see some wood out here dimensional. All right, Ellie, come on, hop out. Get out, get out. Hang on. I need to put the camera down. So here we are at beach camp. Down in the can, just some trash. I wish it was a trash bag. When I moved back from Colorado 20 odd years ago, this whole path had become green briar over. It was like nothing but a little tiny tunnel that went through it. And there was poison ivy on everything. Matter of fact, I think I have a picture of me taking the poison ivy off that tree. Causeway, I don't know, started at some 15 years ago and I've been maintaining it ever since. I don't know if I'll make, continue Me in the town have had some issues. I haven't been back to camp here in a really long time. All right. This is more trash, more trash. People don't take out their trash. 
more cans, more trash. Looks amazingly nice except for the trash here. Uh, put some stuff down. Got in my chair and stuff. Did they take the plastic up? Oh, it's gone. Look, that doesn't stop the traffic, huh? Try to keep this from becoming a mud zone. And as people travel on it more and more and more, it just becomes untravelable. I mean, I guess you can kind of get here that way, but I don't think I would again. My boots on. There's toilet paper over there behind there. Uh, I that base. Some of the fire right there, wow. I see where the old teepee used to be right there. And that site was all totally treated. And, and I cut those trees out, cut the stumps out. And down here was the bathroom. And it's all gone. I took the bathroom out. I got some pictures of that. But if I walk over here, I almost bet I see poop. It's amazing how fast this place grows back. Oh, that tree looks like it just fell. That came right to the bathroom. I didn't even see it. <laughs> no, the bathroom was right there. Well, that's fine too. Well, I don't see any poop except for the toilet paper at this point. Let's see if we can find any. What's really amazing is that they're not mad about the walkway. They tend to think that's okay. <laughs> but... They say to bury your poop and mark it. I find that as a environmentalist, stupid. Now in the middle here, I believe was a pond dug by the Indians for uh, um, fish. They catch fish, throw it in the pond, they're stuck in the pond, in the where the tide goes up and down, tide goes down, they can find a fish easy. We walk down here. Now, I want, there's always been a, bridge, been a bridge here, but like that one, kind of. But because of the rising tides here, you can't really, um, the bridge keeps getting taken out. But, um, that's probably not there again. I haven't been here in a year. This is what they would call scary bridge. My kids, and there's no bridge, but you can get across it. I could get across it right now. Like that. Yeah, so with a little bit of a dam or a wear here, you could uh, keep the fish in there. And this is all native. Unnative, uh, I don't know if it's unnative, but the cattails. But the tide, it just goes out to the river. And then it's in a big pond around. It's hard to see. You can kind of see it on an aerial. The last, I've been out here every couple of years, and once in a while I get my come out here and whack this all back. It's staying pretty good. This is kind of what people poop a lot. I don't see much. Doesn't look like a lot of use. Except for the cans. Pretty amazing all this that cedar tree's dead. Well behind it's dead. Well. Hmm. Let's 
uh, I need some water. And I can kind of see that's back towards the pond, back to what we call Scary Bridge with the bridges. Now this is Jesse's trail. My buddy Jesse is out here camping with us and he didn't like the other trail. So Jesse started this trail right here we're walking on instead of the other trail over there. It has now become the dominant trail. Jesse's cut off. And that runs us back to a scary bridge, back to his beach camp. Coming up here. Yeah. So that was the trail before Jesse's cut off. <laughs> I was trying to make a trail up and around as a cutoff. Just because that was so steep. Up through here. And Jesse's cut off one. So this is what I call saddle or midway camp. You can definitely put a camp tent here. Not real level. I've been meaning to come up here and spend more time trying to level it, but we've got the time. Now I've gone through here. Like you can see those trees right there. They're all covered in green briar. But the bigger trees I've gone through. This whole area. I don't think the top up here had many green briars. And I really haven't gotten all the way down to the edge there. I kind of left it. That's pretty much where anybody is. Down, I come up here and cut them down. I used to call myself the caretaker to this area. Bum that didn't bring a trash bag with me tonight. That really bothers me. I didn't come camping. I just came to get to see this place before I have surgery. Show up to my YouTube channel anybody will watch. So now we're coming down to the river. I definitely have a time lapse so I'll include in this video from this spot from a couple years ago. So now when I was a kid a lot people partied out been partying out here for years and really I thought the cool people kind of hung out here opposed to uh, over at uh, Couch Beach. So a lot of times I would come down here and jump. I had a rubber raft and I would um, put all my camping gear, my cooler, everything in the raft, and all my clothes, maybe leave my underwear on and jump in the river and swim from there to here, toe in the raft, and then put all my gear here and uh, walk it over. Uh, but I wouldn't get in the boat, I'd swim. It'd keep everything nice and dry. It's funny, I have uh, looked through these stones and I haven't found an artifact. Um, I mean, I haven't done a hard search, but nothing looks angular. Nothing looks like it's been used. It doesn't look antique. Points, no arrowheads. I've never found an arrowhead out here. And I've dug holes, pulled stumps out. It really surprises me that I've never found any artifacts. Now we're back up at the top of the hill camp. And I definitely had a plan to level this spot out, put a log here, and bring 15 bags of chips up here. This is a great place to camp. It really is. There's always a nice breeze. Always trying to poop. Oh, 
of trash. Bummer. I wouldn't doubt that there's a camera here somewhere. I'm not thinking about that. I have stash is down there still. So. I wonder if they found it or not. Bother touching today because there was a plan at one point to well, someone cut them down. That's wild. Uh, build a little lean to here in case of uh, COVID uh, lockdown. I don't know. I was pretty spooky then. I really wanted to build camp out here and live out here. But basically, I wanted to go to camp here and then move it if things happen down have all my gear on camp on the island so I can float it all my survival stuff as we walk around here that's back towards base camp main camp we're gonna walk down this way here Yeah, my my son, my youngest son, would come out here a couple times. He got poison ivy everywhere. Every time he came out here, and I started coming out here and finding the poison ivy and uh, killing it. And there was a lot down in here. I I still haven't seen any. Walk, maybe if I walk watch the tape back, I'll see it. But yeah, there's, there's some right there. But it used to be on that tree. And really on this tree, it's really like, get out of the mud there, Elba. So this is the other side of Scary Bridge. Look at that, that's a beautiful cedar. That's still alive, half alive. Yeah. The, Sea level, I can see sea level rise here, affecting this island already. You call me crazy. But all, everything right, right around sea level is dying. Coming back here, back up the hill. We were here building that base camp. There was a dead deer down in there, all bloated. And Ellie just could not leave it alone. He thought it was the coolest thing ever. Yeah, here's a good view of what that pond would have been. Scary bridge to the right. You can kind of see, it's kind of tilted in. And straight ahead is beach camp. And I've always, that's, I've been trying to develop that as a place to uh, uh, put a tent. It's a really flat spot. I just haven't done that yet. It's got a mosquito bite. As you, people don't even use this trail. They all go down Jesse's cut off now. I find that kind of interesting. Very few people go this way. Like you see all these trees here, all been limbed. These all are covered with green briar. All in here. All over here. I think there's even some oriental bittersweet in here. Next to the shore. Yeah. This was my new trail. Uh, it's all those branches right in the way. And kind of, this trail used to go out around on the S outskirts of the whole thing. Like you can walk right around the hill if it was clear. Um, but, or used to, or, but you could tell this right there is an old path straight ahead. Um, 
Now that's what I, out there, Blueberry Point. There's a video about that to get you to Blueberry Point. And now we're gonna walk back towards main camp here. And I think I'm gonna go sit out by the river. Kind of boring back here by itself. But mostly I've come through here just about the whole space. And about to bring, bring by back under, kind of under control. I mean, I don't really have the time at this point to spend to do anything with children. But if you come back up here with, to what I call the teepee site, when I was young, someone had a teepee they used to put up here, right here, in the summertime, when they had parties, a certain group of people. Labor Day Memorial Day. And most of these trees weren't there. I thought I remember almost seeing out of here. And this is 1980 something. But when I come back from Colorado, all these trees here had just green briar everywhere. And I bet if you look up in there, there's enough detail with this camera, you can actually see it on the cedar. It's there. Uh, what's really amazing is if you come down here, I wonder if there is any, but uh, it's just that, it can dry us up on that tree. I'm gonna come get that off. But when we were here camping uh, two years ago, all these blueberries were ripe. And I really wish I had better pictures of it. But this whole area was covered in green briar over every blueberry tree. And none of these blueberries were growing anywhere. And they are delicious when uh, they come ripe. And that's why they call this Blueberry Island. Uh, look at that cedar. That huge cedar is dead. And the one right next to it's starting to die too. And, and I even got the green briar off, off the top of it. All these trees had green briar in them. I'm not sure about that one. But I've been trying to push the camp into this zone here. Now this was where the old camp was when I was uh, hanging out here. The kitchen, it was kind of like in this zone. And there were tents over here. And um, you used to be able to walk on the old path this way. And I tried to keep that clear as best as possible. Heading out to back to land the old traverse. But it looks like that no one's maintained that in a really long time. That is a historic way to get in and out of the island, except from so much traffic that the trail is just uh, gone. You can't really use it anymore. The stump here, this tree is something that I cut up and made a seat out of. Oh. And we're, I came here once before we were camping and there was a tree right across the middle of it. And uh, at the time, I didn't own a chainsaw. And I cut it up with an ax and spun it. Uh. All right, it's time for me to take a break from shooting. Hi, Ellie. Yeah, what are you, what are you eating? You, you a cow dog, Moo? You a cow dog? Yeah? All right. I harbor this camera without a sunshade. The sunset here is just really incredible. I try to get this tree here to kind of shade me in it. Tides come way up since we've been here. The bottle floating by. I saw a tire floating today. It's sad. Probably not a very good shot. It's a 
beautiful fucking place, beautiful place here. I need to learn my language to be a little better here. I really hate to see cans on, on the edge of the river. I'll get that in a minute. Ellie's hunting. His mice here is some sort of like a bowl or something that lives in the marsh. She likes to eat them. She didn't quite eat them, she just killed them. And they're all out there. She'll be coming back. The camping here, she'll be all covered in mud. Out there for hours. Uh -uh. It's just such a beautiful place. A little bit of trash everywhere. Again, it was a kitchen here for years and years. It was left here. Out back, out back. And it got moved out here. I moved it out back. Um, the town took it away. That's life. Uh, I'm lighting a little fire here. I got some hot dogs to eat. I got a couple hours before the tide's gonna turn. I'll be heading back in the dark, almost. High tide is uh, still almost 40 minutes away at the mouth of the river. And it will be a good, uh, she's hot, she's in there. Dog hunts. I've seen that dog kill. She is as wild as a dog I've ever known. And I've known lots of very wolf like dogs. I've camped here so many times in my life. When I was a teenager, I set up a high line, I think, between this tree and that tree. So you can put a tarp over, right, right over this campsite. And there's another campsite there that doesn't exist anymore. And this campsite, and this campsite, they, someone moved it way back. But uh, such a beautiful place. I can't believe I'm not gonna camp here this year. Some. I don't know, 12 or 14 years in a row I've camped here. I just have no desire this year. I used to call myself caretaker here, but I'm not anymore. I'm trying to light a fire. These windy conditions here. Does this make this happen? I don't know, we'll see. Fail. Smoky fail.
I'm gonna hang the paper scot underneath. A little bit of cardboard. There we go, I me that now. On the wrong side for the window. There we go. We got a fire. Three minutes, well. Wow. Burn down, we'll cook a couple hot dogs. Give Ellie a hot dog. Take another look at this beautiful sunset here tonight. Mm, it's so beautiful. Let's go over the clouds, we'll come. Oh, brother, look at Ellie. I'm gonna watch the kayak. I'm gonna sit right here in the grass where it's nice and comfy in the mud. This should be the Ellie channel. And I'm pretty sure that's poison ivy. Uh, I can look back on the video. I got a pretty raging fire going. I wonder what everybody's picking up. Uh, here we are at beach camp. Getting to that golden light hour. Walk down here, it's just so beautiful. Again, like I said, I'm gonna come out in the dark tonight all by myself. Whenever this tide turns the other direction and heads back towards the ocean. About an hour and a half, maybe two, depending on the winds out at the beach. This is that perfect still time. The wind's gone. At least here. But that tide's running hard. Something else floating. There's all kinds of trash today, I saw. I don't know a float or something. Yeah, out there, you can't quite see that. Big old house up there. People party too much out here. That, part, that house complains now. I guess it's probably bad. Our big parties kind of suck. Mm. I wish my trash can was still here, but that's life. You can't win them all. This is so beautiful here. Huh, Ellie? Yeah, you're a good girl. Leaving Blueberry Island. Right as we get ready to leave, I'm packing. We start here with fireworks all around us. Why do people have to do that all the time? My dog is trembling. We're in the middle of the river. She wants to jump out and hide under a tree, but she's stuck here. So there's Blueberry Island back there. You can see beach camp, a little tiny glow going still. Tide's kind of pushing me back in the wind. The wind's kind of shifted. Wind was the other way. But there's that uh, looking west in the sunset. It's beautiful out here. That glow. I had to get her in the car, in the boat, otherwise uh, she would have taken off. All right, I got to paddle out of here. Here we are. Out there. 
Dog shaking like a tree. Trembling the boat. It's so pretty out here. We're just beyond Bluebird Island. It's just behind us in the dark. I'll spin around. Didn't know that. Here we're back at Couch Beach now. I don't think you can see anything. This thing there. That's that big stump. You can't really see it dark. But there's Ellie. More fireworks going on in the background. She's kind of cute right there, huh?